Greetings, boys and girls. In tonight's video, we're going to review area and perimeter concepts as well as volume. Okay, and this is just the first part of this review. Okay, so first part we have vocabulary. Blank is the amount of space occupied by a solid figure. The amount of space occupied by a solid figure. Boys and girls, that is going to be volume. Let's do that first. Volume. Okay, and volume is going to be measured in cubic units. Okay, but volume is actually the space um, that goes to inside of a shape or um, the space occupied by that solid figure. Okay, and a blank is an equation that expresses a mathematical rule. That's going to be formula. A formula is an equation that expresses a mathematical rule. And um, you know we have our star reference guide that gives us quite a few formulas. So, you know, one volume is length times width times height. Area is length times width. Perimeter is two times length plus two times width. All of those are formulas and express a mathematical rule. Okay, now here are our formulas again, just as a reference. So as I just showed you, I gave you um, the volume of rectangular prism as length times width times height. Um, but you also may see it as base. Now notice that's a capital B as opposed to an area. You have a lowercase b. This base is the same thing as looking at the length and width of something. So you have the length and width times the height. Okay. And then if we have a square, it's just side times side times side. Notice this is a three-dimensional concept, volume. Area is a two-dimensional concept, okay? Perimeter is a one-dimensional concept because you're really looking at just how much is it going around. And you can take whatever that was and, and just put it out in a line. Okay, let's look at um, the second section. So we're using formulas to find perimeter and area. So remember, our formula for perimeter is perimeter equals 2L plus 2W. And so I have 12 centimeters as my length and 6 centimeters as my width. So the perimeter would be 2 times 12 plus 2 times 6. 24 plus 12 would give us 36. So we'd have 36 centimeters. And for area, hope we remember, our formula, area equals length times width. So we just take this, and we're looking at 12 centimeters times 6 centimeters, which would be 72 centimeters squared, or 72 square centimeters. And that's simply how we can use our equation. For number four, we actually have a square. So the formula for a square to find the perimeter is four times the side length. So 4s, so I can think of four times five, which would be 20. Okay. Remember, side length, because this side is the same length, the same measure as that side. Okay, and then for area, area equals side times side. So we think it, we can think of it as five times five, which would be twenty-five 
square feet. So we always want to make sure we use our units. Okay, next section. Now we're talking about volume. Volume. So we can use formulas to find the volume. What's great about volume is, I just love this one, length times width times height. So my length would be eight times, oop, I have another eight times another eight. Ooh, since my length, width, and height are all the same, I can tell that this is also a cube, okay? So eight times eight times eight would be 64 times eight. Let's do that on the side. Okay, four times eight would be 32. Carry my three. Eight times six would be 48, plus three would be 51. All right. So we got 512 cubic meters. 512. Ooh, did you notice I said cubic meters and then wrote squares? Cubic meters. So I put that little three up there because that shows that I'm now talking about a cube. Okay. All right, and then in this next picture, we're finding the volume. We're using the same exact equation. Volume equals length times width times height. And I call it an equation, but it's really a formula, okay? So I'm looking at 13 times 11 times nine, okay? I could think of this in a couple of ways. I can think of it as 13 times 99, I can think of it as 143 times nine. So I'll do it like that. 143 times nine, because I know 13 times 11 would be 143. Stacking it up so I can multiply. Three times nine would be 27. Carry my two. Four times nine would be 36 plus two would be 38. Carry my 3. 1 times 9 would be 9 plus 3 would be 12. So my answer would be 1,287 cubic centimeters. Okay, I know it's a little bit hard to see. <laughs> All right, we have one more. Now I realize in you all's packet, this is probably very hard to see because it did not come out very dark. Okay, so we're finding the area of the polygon. So this is a polygon where I'm gonna actually wanna break it up and look at pieces of it. So I'm going to break it up right there. Okay, so then I'll have this rectangle that is really just gonna be six centimeters by seven centimeters. And then this part right here is going to be five centimeters that's my length and then look at this it's not eight because up into this part is six that's six so that means this part here has to be two so it's five centimeters by two centimeters and i got the two by subtracting the whole distance of eight minus just the six Okay, 
So they said, find the area of the polygon. My polygon is made up of a rectangle that's six by seven. So the area of that will be six times seven, which is 42 centimeters squared. And I'm gonna add that to the smaller rectangle, which is a five by two. So the area would be five times two. That together is 10 centimeters squared. So I'm adding 42 centimeters squared plus 10 centimeters squared. And that is going to equal 52 square centimeters. Okay, and I got that by breaking up the shapes. Okay. Well, boys and girls, in today's video, um, we looked at applying these formulas, just kind of reviewing that skill, because that's really what this whole chapter is about, just being able to use the formulas on this chart to actually solve problems involving area, perimeter, and volume. So hold on to this chart. Make sure you reference it. It's a great tool. And I hope that you learned something in today's video and that you feel a little more confident about these skills. Stay tuned for part two. Bye.